Hi, I'm Kenneth, Technical Support Engineer at Navixi. Navixi is proud to announce the release of a new tool in our platform that can address complex problems, virtual sensors. Virtual sensors are device agnostic sensors that allow users to create customized visualizations of incoming data. This technology helps make data more readily available and understood by users, regardless of the device's manufacturer or model. For example, you can assign labels to data sets to better understand crucial, time-sensitive variances. In this video, we'll review several popular uses of virtual sensors, including value and range, source range, and bitwise reading. Creating a new virtual sensor in Navixi is quite easy and can be completed in just a few steps. First, we'll start with the value and range sensor. This type of virtual sensor allows you to control any key parameter in a specified range to track values like temperature, fuel, or humidity. This sensor is highly useful in logistics, fleet monitoring, and other industries that have to closely monitor vital data and quickly respond to any changes in that data. One common use for a value and range sensor is for creating a virtual ignition. If your GPS hardware cannot read ignition status from the vehicle, you can instead create a virtual sensor based on board voltage to know whenever the vehicle starts up. When this event occurs, the ignition state within the platform will show on. Furthermore, this data can be used to generate reports on ignition hours or for excessive idling alerts. In addition to ignition, you can also use a value and range virtual sensor for temperature detection. This is highly beneficial for cold chain fleets where monitoring temperature sensitive cargo is essential. This allows for quick responses to sudden changes outside of the desired temperature range, which can help prevent refrigerated food or medicine from spoiling. Another type of virtual sensor available in Navixi is the source value sensor. These work directly with data sets sent from GPS trackers and allow you to assign labels to those data sets to understand the incoming values. For instance, virtual sensors can access CAN bus readings for a wide variety of data from different vehicle sensors, such as information about the headlights or door status. Here, you can see what status refers to the numeric value sent by the device. You can receive this data by specifying the parameter under sensor label when creating the sensor. Now, whenever the value changes, the platform will update accordingly with the new status. Finally, let's cover bitwise reading, which allows you to view multiple data values in a single field. Businesses that require advanced telematics tools can use virtual sensors with hardware from popular brands like Teltonica, Jimmy IoT, SunTech, and QuickLink to merge several parameters into one value. This reduces GPRS traffic and enhances efficiency. Moreover, you have the ability to use whole or partial values for added problem-solving potential. This is an example of how bitwise reading can express different parameters in one value. To configure the display of these parameters, you need to create a sensor separately for each parameter, as shown by this example for car hood status. With the help of our Air Council, you can name certain incoming values to make them easily understood by all users. Additionally, Navixi API allows you to use this data with third-party applications to ensure your operations remain fully integrated. To sum up, virtual sensors give greater flexibility when it comes to monitoring numerous parameters. Instead of having to install multiple sensors, you can access data that's already being collected by the platform and customize its visualization based on your use case. We hope you learned something new about what's possible with Navixi. Visit our website and contact us today to hear more about our white label telematics platform. Thanks for watching.